Eric Kaluzik with All Corners Home Inspections. This is the roof evaluation for this single family home here in Southeast Corvallis, Oregon. As with all the videos in this report, we would request that you view this video as supplemental to the written version of the report to which this video has been attached. A couple of things bear mentioning prior to diving into this gable uh, roof structure. First, that an Oregon home inspection does not include a roof warranty, meaning we make no claims as to this roof's ability to keep water out of the ceiling voids and attic spaces for the living space below. There are companies, typically insurance companies, that will offer you such insurance policies. Again, Oregon home inspectors are specifically forbidden by the Oregon Construction Contractors Board from making such claims. Second, and maybe more importantly, is over time, we'd highly recommend that this roof be evaluated and maintained uh, professionally, probably annually or biannually, by uh, contractors and inspectors who have specific training and understanding as to how, how this roof might perform over time. This roof uh, should be considered at or near the end of its useful service life. Uh, we have a substantial amount of granular loss present at all exposures of the roof line. You can see as an example here, this south or left facing portion of the rear gable uh, above the uh, attached unit is in poor condition with a, with a lot of black areas showing. The lighter gray areas are the areas with more granular material still intact. There's a lot of areas around the roof line uh, that have been patched, but there are also a lot of areas where the patches are in moderate to poor condition with loose shingles, and uh, we'd recommend uh, this roof be evaluated by a licensed roofing contractor. We have a plumbing vent, which is missing at the area around the laundry room space. Uh, we're not going to venture to that spot of the roof line because there are a lot of bees and yellow jackets uh, congregating around those spaces. In fact, we're trying to stay as far away as we can from the edge of the roof line because there's an overabundance of uh, yellow jacket activity at the perimeter of the structures. The chimney is in a do not burn condition with creosote buildup uh, along the inside of the liner. The uh, electrical wiring uh, from, the, from the utility is too low to the roof line and presents a trip hazard. You'd more than likely want to reroute that wiring prior to a licensed roofing company coming on site to evaluate and make necessary repairs or alter any significant alterations or repairs to the structure. Finally, the low sloped or membrane roof, this white roof at the rear right portion of, the, of, of this space, is also in a replacement condition with damage present at the right hand side. The flashing appears to have been moved backwards and it's unclear at this point where this roof might drain to. Uh, this roof area has uh, maybe the most severe bee activity so I'm not venturing out into that roof and I've also made note of uh, minor damage to the roof structure underneath so two possible challenges there would be uh, it would be unwise for me to walk on that on that space. Uh, again, recommend a licensed roofing contractor get out here to make any necessary repairs or alterations or replacements for this roof. Eric Haluzic, All Corners Home Inspections.